These are the best free cybersecurity courses for 2023. So I actually made a video last year on the best free courses and training material in 2022. So I'll link that down below since most of them are different from the one I'm going to list in this video. And I think you guys are really going to like some of these, especially for those of you who have been asking for specific types of courses. But the first one I'm going to start off with today is a very, very popular one. And it's also probably one of the OG cybersecurity course websites out there. And that is open security training. So open security training is exactly what it sounds like it's basically open source training and the website looks very basic but they actually have many many different cybersecurity courses especially for beginner as well as intermediate and also going into advanced if you look on their website specifically they have 63 days of open source class material so if you really wanted to dedicate 24 hours a day and train in cybersecurity for 60 days you can actually do that with open security training and I'm looking directly at my laptop. They have 29 classes, 13 of them are with video. Their classes range from Android forensics to a CISSP certification review to hacking techniques, cellular security, network forensics, secure coding, vulnerability assessments, malware dynamic analysis. So you basically get what I mean. Open security training has everything that you need to kind of get started in cybersecurity as well as go in depth and learn hands on skills and applications that they actually go through in these courses. So, if you're brand new to cybersecurity, because open security training has just a huge rep in the cybersecurity space for having good trainings that are also free and available for anyone, I would definitely start there to kind of see, pick and choose which areas they want to go into because the rest of the courses on this list are going to be one off courses. So, a specific course on a specific topic, while open security training has many different courses on many different topics. So, that is why I wanted to put open security training first on this list so you can go and explore there first. Right, the next free training that I want to cover is specifically one that I have actually used myself in the last few months and that is the OX infection reverse engineering training. This course slash training was actually introduced to me by one of my teammates and we actually went through this together. Um, it is a free resource so nothing is affiliated with my company or anything but it is a material that he personally used in the past I believe and we just went through it together as part of our professional development. This course itself doesn't have video modules but it does have very, very thorough walkthroughs um, as well as labs that you can do while following along with the guide. So that is very helpful. You get hands-on experience as well as the foundational knowledge. And OS Infection has a lot of other guides and information outside of this introduction to reverse engineering course. And personally, while I don't think reverse engineering is going to be a skill that you'll use in every single job in cybersecurity, it's also not necessarily something that I use in my day-to-day -day job as a security analyst. But it is something that I found really interesting in the past and one of my teammates is actually really good at reverse engineering specifically for capture the flags and another aspect of it that I find really interesting is just the fact that because I originally started out as a software developer it's very interesting to see kind of like the flip side of it which is which is debugging and disassembling code code that I normally would have written instead so it kind of gives you that full picture if you're someone who maybe wants to go into security engineering or malware analysis uh, or maybe you just like to do try hack means for fun and reversing challenges crack means is also a great place to go if it's kind of like try hack me slash hack the box for reverse engineering challenges of course don't download those on your personal machine always use a vm or a virtual lab but yeah basically the ox infection guide goes over x86 architecture which i personally had not learned in college it also goes over an introduction of assembly language if you haven't used assembly before personally i have not because i was a computer science major so i never learned any low level programming languages and and that was another reason why i wanted to kind of get at least an introduction to reversing not to say that i will go into my next job as a malware engineer or malware analyst but i do think it provides a lot of color into the other areas of cybersecurity that you may also be working on on a day-to-day -day basis and they really do start you from the basics so if you're someone who is brand new they'll start by even going over the binary number system the hexadecimal bytes words double words I didn't even know these terms before. Um, for example, I had no idea what a quad word was until I read this guide, so it definitely is very helpful. They also go into the actual registers in the CPU, as well as the overall architecture of what a CPU looks like, the instructions that go to it, um, how it executes those instructions in what order. And even though I didn't come from a you know low level engineering background, I still thought that it was pretty easy to understand and pretty easy to follow. And then it also continues on to provide you some different 
different examples of challenges that you can do together and you can easily follow along the guide because they provide you the instructions of all of the command line tools that you will be using as well as the two main instructions that a cpu would take in which are going to be the at t syntax or the intel syntax which are the two that this guide will primarily cover although it does have an emphasis on the at t syntax so i don't want to go too in depth into this because i know this will be a lot of fun for a lot of you guys especially the ones who are interested in capture the flags because a lot of capture the flags for example tend to have different types of challenges and reverse engineering challenges have always been the most interesting to me but but i've never been able to solve like the harder ones that actually require actual reversing so i do think that it's a fun little thing to try so i would definitely check out ox infections reverse engineering guide for anyone who is looking to get started in just the basics of reverse engineering the next one i want to cover is sans cyber aces this is another one of those og trainings sans is a very popular organization in the cybersecurity world they also have their own certifications and they also have a capture the flag that they do every single year KringleCon or the holiday hack challenge and it's very creative and very cool the way they set everything up kind of like an MMORPG but they really gamify the CTF which I think is very nice but the Sand Cyber Aces is a set of trainings that they provide at a entry slash slash beginner level so it's very similar to the open security training so if we go on their website it says learn the fundamentals of cybersecurity security for free um, this is definitely a much more beginner course than what you'll find on open security training although the main modules that they cover are operating systems, networking, and system administration. So this will be very helpful for some of you who may be interested in going into system engineering or sysadmin roles or any IT roles that may require some cybersecurity knowledge. On the website, it states that Cyber Aces training is made specifically for students who are trying to strengthen their existing cybersecurity knowledge as well as self-taught. So based on the list, you can kind of see that this is typically for someone who has no cybersecurity background. For example, if you're a college student, if you're a high school student, if you're someone who's looking to switch careers into cybersecurity, this is a really good way to kind of get your foot in the door. Maybe before you do the open security training that may be a little bit more hands-on and maybe has a bit more labs, this one will be much more informational for you and a much better place to start if you're just looking to start grasping all the cybersecurity concepts that you may need to know on the job. And the next course I want to cover is the Stanford Cryptography course. So obviously cryptography is a huge, huge topic right now, especially in the media, honestly not always in a positive light, but I do think that cryptography is going to be somewhat in our future. And I'm not just talking about cryptocurrencies, but it's okay if the main thing that you know about blockchains is cryptocurrencies. I really think that this cryptography one class that Stanford has will be very helpful to you if you're someone who is interested in that side of cybersecurity, but don't really know where to start and you don't want to pay a lot of money for a cryptography course because I'm sure there are many of them out there that are currently being very highly marked up for people who are trying to get into crypto, but you know, don't really have that background. So this is actually another course offered by Coursera. It's completely free. Um, it has a 4.8 star rating with 4,000, 4.8 star rating with 4,000 reviews and 400,000 already enrolled, which is a lot. Um, this is offered by Stanford on Coursera. So again, a very, very good school that is very well known for their engineering as well as their reputation for startups where you can enroll for free in the course and see all the material or they call it auditing the materials but you won't get the official certification unless you pay for the final paper of the certification which again you don't need to get um i still think it is something you can put on your resume if you complete the course itself based on their description this looks like a very entry-level course it doesn't look like you need any background knowledge in cryptography or cryptography or source security in this course you will learn the inner workings of cryptographic systems and how to correctly use them in real world applications. The course begins with a detailed discussion of how two parties have a shared secret key and can communicate securely with adversaries. The course is about 23 hours long and a few things that you'll cover are symmetric key algorithms, public key cryptography, and cryptographic attacks. So going into the world of quantum computing and, and just a lot of buzz around cryptography in general, I do think this is an awesome course to get into if you're someone who is, you know, kind of looking for the cutting edge of cybersecurity. Maybe you want to work for one of the, maybe you want to work for the CIA or the FBI or one of those big organizations or any other role that requires you to have an in-depth knowledge of cryptography. This is definitely a very niche one, I would say, but I also think that it's probably one of the areas that are also very popular right now for people in cybersecurity who are enrolling into colleges now in cybersecurity programs as well as cybersecurity bootcamp. All right, the last course I want to discuss in this video is actually a Udemy course by Daniel Arzuwaga. And this course specifically is a free tutorial and he has a few programming courses that are completely free on Udemy. He is a chief engineer at NASA, so, and he graduated from Stanford University. 
I know the course is titled and created in 2020, but I still think that this is a great course to go into. If you're someone who is looking for training from someone who has worked in the industry as a developer, as well as now in, as well as just in general, being very well known in the tech space, the course itself covers web security, attacks, defenses, and techniques for writing secure code. So you can tell this is made from a developer's point of view. So if you're someone who maybe wants to be a software engineer or, or you're kind of like hovering between cybersecurity versus software engineering, It'll never hurt you to learn how to securely write your code. Um, whether that's testing, just following good hygiene, using code scanners, understanding the OWASP top 10. I think these are the foundations of being a good developer, especially being security minded with more and more companies coming online, as well as more attackers that are taking advantage of companies who may not be putting cybersecurity at like their highest at one of their highest priorities so i would highly consider taking this course it is completely free and on udemy and this is not sponsored by daniel but but it just so happens that he is someone who created this course online and has a very impressive background for, for someone who is in the technology space all right so i'll link all the courses that i discussed in this video in the description below if you guys want to check that out and if you're interested, I also have a cybersecurity course that I've made on how to get your first job in cybersecurity. This is specifically going into the entire job search from your resume to your cover letter to interview prep to the actual job hunt and interviewing and negotiations. So that will also be linked in the description if you guys want to check that out. Hopefully this video was helpful to you guys and I'm sure there are many, many other free courses that are awesome that I didn't add to this list because it's hard to fit in a 10 minute video, but if you guys have any more that you've used in the past that was helpful, definitely leave it in the comments below so everyone else can see it in the community. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications. I was doing videos every Wednesdays and Sundays at 12 p.m. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.